Hello everyone, Ranger Rob here from the Ranger Rob Country Living. And I needed to, I forgot I didn't follow up on getting our stove done. So it is in, and uh, I did have to hire an electrician. So the money I saved on the Black Friday savings, I just threw right back at the electrician. So uh, really didn't have too much trouble, pretty tight fit. Um, one thing we got to be careful, it's easy to hit these buttons right here and actually turn on the oven when you're too close to it so uh, lessons learned but we're also getting used to the stove but it's so nice to have so much surface now and uh, so we're very pleased so uh, that's the follow-up on the stove story <laughs> want to go outside all righty let's do it guys well, things are going pretty good here lately. Um, just finished a series about being a visionary. Um, I just thought it would be something different. And uh, getting back to homestead stuff. And uh, pretty much have to report to you that I haven't gotten crap done. <laughs> it's like, I got so much to do. But uh, uh, I do need to pick up lumber. I need to get uh, one by fours. And I'll have two by fours because... On the greenhouse, we're going to uh, start getting it ready for attachment for the plastic, which I haven't ordered yet. Um, only because the less I have the plastic up, the less time it's rotting, you might say. So, uh, just to explain what I'm going to do is we're going to put the siding on near the, the roof edge here. I'll show you here uh, as soon as I get to the place. So, uh, where do you? Uh, roof attaches we have a little met metal plumber's tape and my fear is that those might be a little sharp and cause issues with the plastic so I'm putting a 1x4 edging along here which is good because it will protect the plastic and we can attach uh, hooks or uh, wiggle wire to uh, cinch down the plastic um, and then also in the middle, we'll do the same thing with one by fours in the middle. And once again, we'll have wiggle wire. And then down below, we'll have it where we can roll up the plastic on the sides. The other thing we got to do is uh, build the interior. So along this edge here, we're going to put in raised beds two feet wide all the way along the edge. In the middle, we're going to have a four foot wide raised garden in the middle here and then along this edge will be shelving uh, for um, seedlings and things like that so uh, <laughs> just time time is the hard part right now uh, the other thing I learned is uh, uh, this ash that came out of our burning place we're going to add to the uh, garden over here and they say you want to give it quite a few months to uh, break down a little bit so uh, uh, I want to do that real soon I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit and uh, blend it into the dirt and uh, uh, yeah so the other thing here is uh, with the chickens we've been on, on the cusp of freezing every night but uh, right now we're just getting away with it being warm enough but so this guy water thing would like to freeze up so what we're going to change over to when it starts freezing more is the rubber bowl trick. And of course they will freeze every day, but what's so nice with these rubber bowls is you can tip them over and get the ice out of them and then bring water with us. We have a little container of water so we can refill the water uh, every day. So uh, I see that i got to give these chickens some food. Um, apparently they're getting brutal in here. So uh, I'm going to get them fed and then I'll catch up with you. Well, I got all my ladies fed and uh, apparently they're pretty hungry, but they always have food. They're just always hungry. So, should we see if I got any eggs yet? It's getting close. Let's see. Nothing. <laughs> Reminds me of that uh, cartoon uh, 
Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer and the, uh, the guy that's the miner, you know, he hits his, the ice with his pick and goes nothing. That's how it is here. One of these days I'm going to get eggs. It will be a glorious day. Or really well. So it's actually very beautiful out here. Uh, and it actually isn't as cold as it has been. I did clean out the chicken um, nesting last night and added it to the compost pile. And we continue to put uh, scraps from the kitchen and things like that. And uh, it's kind of funny. You just keep filling this thing up. keeps sinking. It's like you can never fill it up. <laughs> it's a good sign. So anyway. Uh, see, today is a Wednesday for me. For me, it will be Thursday for you guys when this plays. Uh, tonight we have a She Said, He Said show. Uh, it's a very enjoyable show. And yeah, I know it's not country oriented. But uh, uh, like I said, our, sh our, our platforms got variety. So if you're kind of tired of homestead stuff, uh, then there's always a little bit of interviews going on or, or uh, shows. So you just kind of pick what you like to, like to watch. Uh, this compost pile is actually breaking down pretty good. Uh, probably need to stir it up a little bit. We're getting enough moisture from a little bit of snow, a little bit of rain and condensation that it's continuing to break down. I can already tell the pile has dropped a lot. So I'm going to have a lot of compost for next spring. So uh, there you go, guys. That's kind of the latest that's going on. Got to get lumber. Got a, a, a very excited about the freeze dryer coming. We won't get that till after Christmas. And uh, of course, <laughs> we're watching tons of videos and different techniques for uh, using your freeze dryer. But uh, what a great investment. I cannot wait to get it. And uh, we're really, we'll take our food supply that's well over six months into a year's worth uh, very quickly and uh, we'll be happy about that. Why am I doing that? Well, why not is one. Two is even if we don't need it, we'll be in good shape. I also can you know, worry about my kids. One of my kids live uh, uh, in the area and if they get caught backed up on not being able to get enough food or something with restrictions and all that hey we're here that we're here for them uh, no harm done so I'd be curious if you're a prepper do you prep for just your family in the household or do you kind of keep in mind that you may have to help out family or friends and do you prep at least a little bit to help them out <coughs> um, <laughs> there's a lot of pros and cons to that so I'd be really curious to hear in the comments below what you guys uh, think about prepping for your friends and, and extra family members. So anyway, I'm going to head on out, guys. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos. That really helps us out. So yeah, liking and subscribing and kicking them out to somebody who might be interested in watching our, uh, our stuff. We'd appreciate it. So uh, have a great day. Be safe until next time. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.